Hello, please have a seat. Thanks for coming to the interview, Dinesh. How's it going? I'm glad that you are considering to work for the Irito project as a robotics researcher. Hmm. So firstly, please tell me why you applied for this job. Um, I applied for this job because I really like uh, robots. Um, I'm very interested in them. Um, and I think um, this company is very um, up to date with um, how they treat robots and all the research going on. Uh, so, yeah, basically, I think this would be a good job for me to have. Ah, I see. Dibesh, what efforts have you made to make yourself attractive for this work? Um, so, I've done a lot of study um, about robot techniques. Um, I've done a lot of study, uh, for example, um, about statistics and um, deep learning and things like that, because I think this is uh, very close to what we're going to be able to use with robots um, in the future. Um, and above all, I think I have the ambition to make this um, work. Um, so I think that makes me quite a good candidate for this job. Yes, I see. You mentioned the ambition, so can you describe that in more detail? Yeah, so when we talk about um, robot research, um, I think it pays to be ambitious. Uh, we have uh, many, many uh, robots um, now in society, uh, but we still lack uh, robots that can interact with uh, humans in our daily life. So there's still much of a novelty. And um, I think we need to be ambitious here um, in the sense that we need to envision a future where we interact with robots on a daily basis. And once we have that goal in mind, uh, we can move towards that. So, yeah, I think it pays to have this type of um, outlook. Okay, I understand. I'd like to hear more about your previous work. Please tell me about your biggest accomplishment when you were a student. Yeah, so when I was a student, um, I was involved in some projects, um, and the project was a simple one. We had a small robot uh, with a camera that we had to navigate around a maze, um, and had to do it by itself. Um, and this project was conducted in a team, so um, we were able to actually achieve this um, successfully. Um, and I think, for me, this was a good accomplishment. Um, they had a practical and... Uh, technical basis to it as well. So for me it was, yeah, quite good. Okay, thanks. Have you thought about how that experience could be helpful in a job? Um, yeah, so basically all the things that we did in that project can be applied, I think, um, to a real job situation. Um, so for example, um, all the skills that we picked up, um, I think can definitely be used um, the way we design the system. Um, the teamwork, I think uh, teamwork is a, an important thing. Um, and, and also just the experience of um, having to make something like under pressure with a deadline and having fixed goals um, and fixed schedules for that, um, I think is yeah, one, uh, one of the biggest ways this can be applied uh, to a job situation. Right, I understand. I heard you talk about teamwork, so I want to know more about that. Yeah, so as part of the project, um, you know, as I said, uh, we work together in a team, uh, about four or five people. Uh, so this was uh, yeah, very good uh, in terms of being able to, um, I guess, maximise the skills of everyone. So everybody had different skills. Um, but we were able to kind of work together, um, help each other out, um, kind, of, um, kind of share our goals and senses of what was happening in the project. Um, and I think not only for robotics research, but yeah, basically for any job where you work with people, um, this is going to be quite important. Okay, I understand. Let's talk a bit more about the technical side. Mm. Dibesh? Tell me about one of your special skills. Um, I'd say my biggest skill um, in terms of technical skills would be some system integration. 
So um, I think I'm able to identify how to reach um, the goal that we have and by using other people's skills um, and designing a system where we can actually um, easily integrate all those skills or the modules and, um, for the robot, um, I think I'm quite good at that um, and being able to create a fully functional product. Right, got it. Can you describe a particular experience where you use that skill? Um, yeah, so for example, I'm going to go back to um, the student project that we had. Um, so for example, one person was really good at actually making the robot, making it move properly. Um, he was a good roboticist. Um, we had another person uh, who was good at machine learning. Uh, we had another person that was uh, good at computer vision. Um, and I think the other person was um, just good at programming in general. So we had all these different capabilities um, of people. Um, and I was kind of responsible for integrating um, all that. So in, in kind of like a project management type of way. Yeah, so I think this is one example of where um, my skills came in handy. Right, I understand. I heard you talk about machine learning, so please tell me more. Uh, yeah, so the machine learning that we had um, in the project um, was to do with computer vision. Uh, we had one guy who trained a model to recognize, for example, walls. Um, and whether a space was free under different lighting conditions. Um, so personally, um, machine learning for me, I'm still um, very much an amateur at it, um, but I have the knowledge, the basic knowledge of how to make the model, how to test the model, um, and how to know it's gonna work um, in a real environment. Um, so yeah, I think, especially with robots, um, this type of machine learning is gonna be going to become very common. Um, so, yeah, I think it's becoming part of a, a fundamental skill we need um, to do work in this area. And I'm glad I had that experience um, with being able to do that. Okay, I understand. Okay, so that concludes our interview. Thanks for coming. Okay, thanks. Please leave through the door behind you. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll be in touch.